Got tall hair today. Hey, what's up, everybody? Got a uh, fun little video. <laughs> the most fun achievement in the whole game. Otherwise known as the waste your fucking time achievements. Okay. Oh, look at this. Uh, here we go. Boom! Hey! I've got that achievement. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff from the Achievement Hunter, and welcome to Awu number 12 for the week of May 17th, 2010. That guy was sexy. Special thanks goes to Lewis McDonald for that intro. It uh, looked pretty cool. Good job. And hey, if you want to submit more intros to us, feel free to. Was it info at Achievement Hunter? Something like that? If you have a five to 10 second intro, feel free to send it in like QuickTime format to info at achievementhunter.com. We're running a little bit low, and we're looking for some good ones. So, info at achievementhunter.com. Five to 10 second intro, not too long. Okay, so here it is the big week we've all been waiting for. Two major releases coming out for the Xbox this week. Obviously, I'm referring to uh, Attack of the Movies 3D and Shrek Forever After. Both of them are going to just I don't, I mean, they're gonna, people people don't throw the word Halo Killer around very often but I think in this case it might might be apropos. Obviously, I'm kidding. Those games are coming out this week and of course we're all gonna buy and play them because we love Shrek and movies in 3D. But, uh, the ones that I think that the kids have been waiting for, a little, little, uh, the ones that I think the kids have been waiting for, a little title named Alan Wake and not to be outdone, also, uh, uh, Rockstar's got this little game coming out called Red Dead Redemption, which obviously everybody in the world is excited about because who doesn't want to play Grand Theft Auto in the Wild Wild West? You're going to do horse buys. That's going to be awesome. And of course, Ubisoft, not to be uh, outdone, is releasing Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, I believe is what it's called, right? All three of those games are have look to have a ton of... And the coolest thing is that Achievement Hunter is going to film the shit out of those games. I think all three of them are going to have a ton of collectibles, so you can look for a billion videos from Jack and I, and a lot of really cool, awesome, good times, and fellowship. Not really sure what's coming out for Xbox Live Arcade this week. They haven't announced yet. I'm assuming something, and might get overshadowed by those games. Oh, hell. I forgot. Split Second comes out this week, too. So if you like racing games, and you like Burnout, you should definitely probably check out Split Second, because that game looks awesome. Shit blows up. Boom. Pop. Come on. And of course, DLC this week. A lot of people are excited about it. Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Origins Darkspawn Chronicles comes out this week. I don't know much about it, but it's Dragon Age, and I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. And I'm sure we can convince Gus to make a video or two for it. My achievement of the week this week is un. My achievement of the week this week is Unnatural Selection. What's that achievement? Well, let me tell you. It's in Red Dead Redemption, and it requires you to kill one of every species of animal in the game. How awesome is that? I have no idea if humans count, but if they do, I'm gunning for Jack. And now for the weekly news. Take it away, Jack. Oh hey, what's up? Let's do some news. So as you know, Steam came out for the Mac uh, last week, I believe, and now until May 24th, you can actually download the video game Portal for free. And you can do it on PC or Mac, so you PC guys aren't left out either, but you can get a free copy of Portal. Might as well download Steam, download Portal for free until May 24th. Also, the deal of the week this week, since Jeff missed it, he's lazy, is 400 points for Monkey Island. That's right, the Xbox Live Classic, well, it's not really Xbox Live Classic, but the Classic is on Xbox Live for 400 points this week only, so we should pick it, up. it was announced last week that Ravensoft is doing some map packs for Call of Duty Black Ops. I think it's actually just Raven now. It's interesting that another developer is getting in with the Call of Duty series, so these guys may be poised to take over the role that Infinity Ward is probably going to be leaving. We'll see. I'm sure we'll find out more soon. Also, supposedly they put a AAA title on hold so they could do these map packs, which is a little bit weird because the game's not even out yet and they're already doing map packs for it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited because Cirque du Soleil is going to be at the Natal launch party in just a couple days before E3. Hooray, Frenchmen, Frenchmen, Frenchmen jumping around in tight bulges. Also last week, the DLC for Magic the Gathering, it turns out people who downloaded the DLC and tried playing it actually broke the game. I'm sure Microsoft looked into it and they're figuring something out, but don't, if you haven't yet, I don't know. By the time we recorded this, it still broke the game. Hopefully they've got it fixed by the time you watch this. Also, one thing pretty interesting about this this is the first arcade game that's going to hit 300 points. So it used to be 250 was the max. Now this one's doing 300. Praise world. All right, that's it, everybody. Uh, now log off of the internet like this. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Go to your game store and buy all 500 of the games that are coming out this week. And in three or four months when you come up for air, check back at Achievement Hunter. Ah, woo. Bye-bye.